Sunday, June 7th, 2020. And we are departing one state of insanity for another, and another, and another, and another, and perhaps another. Michelle's with me this year. Yay! Say hey, Michi. Hey, Michi. There's Michi. Say hey, Michi. So it is, what is it? It is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. We just arrived at the boat shed. Uh, but for our boat and another, this was empty this time last year. <coughs> Weird times. But what's interesting about this is somewhere back there is a little itty bitty sailboat wedged in amongst these things our launch date is day after tomorrow and they're still doing a little bit of work on the bright work and i'm working on the uh, fiddles in the companion way they were a little rough. I took the companionway steps home and refinished those, but I can't pop out here on the weekends to work on these things. But yeah, we're kind of dwarfed in here. So they're still working, so we got the day off. So five in the a.m. Tuesday, June 16th, 2020. Getting a little bit of a late start to our sailing vacation on Lake Michigan. Just got off the dock in Manitowoc. All six o'clock late? Well, late in the year. Oh. That makes sense. Uh, supposed to have a nice leisurely cruise over to Ludington today. We're taking the easy way out and just crossing the lake. Winds are supposed to be out of the south about uh, 8 to 10 knots right now. It's dead calm. First two hours this morning, we're going to wear out an engine sailing on Lake Michigan. But uh, finally got about six knots of wind. The forecast will be 10 to 15 all day today. You know how that goes. So I've got all the sail crowded on her now. Probably regret that later today. It'll get to blowing really bad. We'll have to start dousing sails, furling sails taking in reefs, doing all the stuff you do when it gets windy. Meet you at the helm. Say hey, Meechie.
little sail trim when I get back to the cockpit. So there is the Badger, just a few miles from the Wisconsin Michigan state line in the middle of Lake Michigan. And I don't know how well it's going to show up on this. I bought this camera. few big old rollers today. Not a heck of a lot of wind, I don't know what's generating them. Go secure our Jenniker before it goes over the side. Oh, that would be bad. Yeah, that suck. Say hey, Michi. Hey, Michi. You're so cute. gotten a little tired. So this is my view, sitting on this side of the boat. I don't get to see any water, I just get to see blue skies. And my darling. Let's go 
load him away. Pretty wiped out. Yeah, he is. That's okay. We don't mind. He can stay as long as he wants, as long as he doesn't shit on anything. Good luck with that. <laughs> but at least it's someplace where it's easy to clean. That's uh, true. Right in the middle of Lake Michigan, just crossed the Wisconsin-Michigan state line. It is June 16th, 2020. On our way to Ludington. So it's a little after 2 o'clock Eastern time. We lost an hour coming across the lake. Dunes in sight over there. Looks like we're going to be in the Ludington around 5 p.m. About 10 hours across the lake. That's not too bad. Had a pretty good run of it today. Yes. Except for the first two hours of motoring and somewhere, oh, probably about a quarter or a third of the way in. About the time we saw the badger, I guess, the wind had died. Well, right after we saw the badger. The wind died down to under 10 knots for a little while. Slowed our progress, especially since we're crashing into all those big rollers. But, knock on wood. Uh, the wind will maintain its direction of velocity and we'll be able to get into Weddington without having to do too much motor or sail changes or anything else because we're all about easy. Easy peasy. Right, hun? Yep. I assume our hitchhiker left us. I don't see him anywhere. We had a black bird with red wings or red highlights in his wings that was hitchhiking for a while. He looked pretty worn out when he landed. And after he recuperated, he started hopping around the boat eating all the bugs, all the flies. Which was a good thing. But he also left a whole bunch of little deposits for us, too. <laughs> you got dead bug guts or you got bird food. Which, you know? which is a bad thing, yeah. Well, we don't have too many live flies left. The only ones left are mashed, so we got dead bugs and bird poop on the boat. Not too many of either, though. The flies actually weren't that bad. Okay, so we made it. And we didn't get passed by him again. We actually beat him into Ludington. I mean, her. Durango, Colorado. We know somebody who lives in Durango, Colorado. We've even been to Durango, Colorado. It's not working. Okay, so does this look like a nightmare or what? I'm not talking about Michelle. Yes, you are. No, I'm not talking about Michelle. Um, I remember a movie from when I was a kid called The Manitou, and this looks like something right out of it. 
It's supposed to be the Badger in Manitowoc, but yeah, there's something rather <laughs> nightmarish about that. Good. And you can't hear this because it's windier than hell. 